Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a while, but we've been pretty much chugging away at the miles as far as the hybrid battery, uh, the lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, and just wanted to get some miles in, wanted to go through a harsh cold winter as well before providing another update. So in this video, we have the 5,000 mile update as well as how did we fare in the winter temperatures. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we'll go ahead and jump right in. I meant for this to be a video that we put right at the 5,000 mile mark, but haven't had really time to get around to it. So wanted to spend some time today just going over what it's like to own the lithium iron phosphate battery from Nexel. Um, and also just to get an idea of the type of mileage you might get in winter, because as we might know from the lithium um, iron phosphate battery, capa or battery uh, chemistry, it doesn't fare the best in winter. At least that's the knock that you typically hear when you're comparing lithium iron phosphate to that of uh, nickel metal hydride. Um, so this, what you're looking at here is my last five gas tanks. And you can see I'm getting just about 500 miles, which is typically what we'd expect. At 323, I filled up halfway, anticipating gas to go down. I know, haha, -ha, what a joke. Um, so, and then you can see my mileage has kind of crept up as temperatures have gotten warmer. So wanted to go over my uh, mileage that I've been averaging. So I have I keep two trips on my car, probably like most owners. Um, I have trip A, and I have 104,000 miles, but I have trip A, which is my current tank. You can see I'm getting 57.1 miles per gallon. Very similar to what I was getting in fall of last year, um, which spring and fall, if depending on where you live. In the Midwest, that's when temperatures are most mild. It's also when you're gonna see the best efficiency from your hybrid car. Uh, Prius, it could be any hybrid car, but electric is going to be most efficient when the battery is uh, at a normal temperature, similar to humans. Um, we like to be at around 70, 80 degrees. Um, so trip A, obviously doing pretty well here at 57.1 miles per gallon. It's the best tank I've had so far this year. Um, throughout winter, I was able to continue, actually we're at 6,000 miles now, 6,400. Um, this is the life of the nickel uh, of the lithium iron phosphate pack. So you can see we're at 6,400 miles, 52.6 miles per gallon is what I averaged. So I only, I put this pack in in October and then temperatures pretty sharply fell and we were below freezing um, or right at freezing for almost all the, all of the winter here. And I was able to get over 50 miles per gallon, right around 50, 51. Um, and I have my wife's Prius and she has the uh, nickel metal hydride pack. I was getting around 43. So there was about a seven mile per gallon difference in winter um, where I was seeing about a five to eight mile per gallon difference uh, with the li uh, lithium iron phosphate pack, obviously doing better than the nickel metal hydride pack. Um, I was averaging 35 miles per gallon. That's an important thing to look at because I drive mostly highway to get to work. Um, I try to maximize my city miles where I can, but I've been driving the same uh, route to work as my wife who drives the nickel metal hydride pack uh, enabled Prius. Uh, so like I said, I've been keeping track of the mileage there. And this is a 10 year old car. Uh, my other, my wife's Prius is a 10 year old car as well. So um, they're both 10 years old, have similar uh, miles right at around 100,000. Um, and yeah, I've been very impressed with the, the pack so far. It's held up really well. Um, again, the most notable features is how quickly it will fill up when you regen. You get the full regen capacity um, pretty much the entire time you're going downhill. It doesn't limit like the nickel metal hydride does. Um, that and there's also not that voltage sag. And if the pack starts to go down in capacity, like on those hot summer days, which we're not quite here yet, um, but if you have the AC blasting, you don't watch your, your battery doesn't drop in capacity like a rock like you see with nickel metal hydride either. So... Um, I've noticed it's harder to drain the battery, a lot easier to fill it. Uh, but in general, yeah, pretty robust battery pack. I am thrilled with the results that I've seen so far. Um, and that brings me to going and ordering a pack. And there's kind of a good news, bad news there. The good news is that they're still available as I'm, as the time I'm making this video. The bad news is that they won't be for long. So Jack, the creator of the Dr. Prius app and the designer of the Nexcel lithium iron phosphate pack, um, has informed me that they are not expecting any shipments um, for quite a few months. So this current shipment that's available on the site, projectlithium.com. Um, I'll put a link down in the video description and hopefully you're able to snag one if this is something you've been interested in before. There's a couple months here between now and the next shipment. So 
Um, I'll try and provide updates um, also at the 10,000 mile mark. Um, I do also just as a sneak peek, so I have another car that I'm, I'm working on obtaining. Uh, there'll be a video reveal for that one as well. But that's pretty much all I wanted to share today, just the 6,400 mile update. I'll do another one at 10,000. Uh, go ahead and leave your questions or comments below. I'll answer all the ones that I can. Um, and again, I'll drop a link to projectlithium.com in the video description. And as always, hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you in the next video.